Hola amigos, we're Fiorella and Zach, and in 2018, we bought a shuttle bus to convert to the tiny home on wheels of our dreams. In 2020, we finished our dream home and took off, and life has been filled with incredible adventures since. But truth is, we still have some projects to do, so let's just get right into it. Okay, friends, so this is an exciting vlog because we are doing something that we should have done when we were building. So we're about three and a half years later on our to-do list. Um, and today we're catching up. This is a big mistake. We should have done this project before we moved forward with construction and we're living in it and having to fix it. So definitely gonna want to pay attention if you're building and if not, it's just a fun day of projects in the house. So let's get started. What are you doing? Banking on it being up here before I take it apart. Things are back. I just spent 30 minutes trying to take out the spray cans without doing all of this because he didn't want to do it, but I guess we're doing it. I'd say that's a bit dramatic. So as I think you can see right now, you can see very clearly into the bus and you can see the back of the fridge, which we never painted or covered, which is bad for a few reasons. One, you can see it from the outside and doesn't look great. And two, and probably more importantly, it just gets beat on by the sun and the sun just goes straight through right to the fridge, which in turn makes it have to work harder to be colder and just upkeep with the temperature. So today we are fixing this. Bye bye. Hi Pony is activated, which means today is a project day. We have our nice clothing on today as well. Zach is rocking the construction shirt over here. This is all of our bus build in a t-shirt, <laughs> so that's lovely, which means we're gonna get down. And dirty. And dirty. Let's do it. What did you just say? So how did I do this last time? It was so much fun last time. I just can't wait to do it again. Okay, so step one is obviously going to be removing the fridge, which we have done one time since moving into the bus. Not sure why we didn't paint the back of it when we had it removed, but we didn't, and here we are removing it again. So we have to remove it. It's not fun because it barely fits into this rectangular section that we created for it because we never actually brought the fridge when we were building it. So it's hard to get in and it's even harder to get out. It took us about 35 minutes the day we moved into the bus. Wish us luck. <laughs> this has been in our to-do list for about three years now, probably. <laughs> when we were building, we had all the intention of blacking out both the fridge and the closet. And then we got scared because we were wanting to try to film and it didn't work and spray paint seemed like a very intense commitment. And at that time, I guess we weren't ready for it, which makes no sense. Just spray paint the window and block it off. It's gonna be behind something. Ooh, be careful. With what? I don't know, it's like bending the whole thing. Yeah. It ought to. <clears throat> That's what we want. I want to vacuum that. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> well, give me three hours to get this fridge out and you can vacuum all you want. So another reason we want to paint it black is so the reflection of the bags and things we have back there doesn't show up the way that is. So I am going to try to go ahead and put some tape 
on this side of the window that we're keeping so that when we spray paint it doesn't go over because when we did the bathroom last time we didn't put enough and now we need to like have paint thinner or something to take out a little bit of the spray paint that came through from the shower but that is actually how it looks with the spray paint if you can tell nice and black clean where the tape was no tape so we want this There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of Three hours has been ten minutes. <laughs> you know. Your boy figures it out pretty quick, you know? Back to what I was saying. It's so crazy to see your old work and your old framing and all the things that I obsessed over and thought were going to drive me absolutely crazy. And now I've forgotten them until now. So now they can drive me absolutely crazy again. Just kidding. I, you don't care. If you're building a bus, take it from me. I obsessed so much over the littlest, littlest things. Like if something didn't meet perfectly or if it didn't line up exactly right. And I was like, oh my God, that's going to drive me crazy. And everybody's going to notice and let me just tell you, it doesn't matter and nobody notices. You know what does matter and what I do notice? All the things I need to vacuum from where the fridge was. So yeah. Yeah. And I love that marking, fridge. And that is where <laughs> our fridge is. So layouts work. <laughs> So guess what we just found? A brand new black spray paint, which we bought for this project that we spent 30 minutes looking in the garage and made a mess out of. Lovely. <laughs> if you didn't know, this is where we keep all of our reusable bags. Which is too many these days. It's too many. Since it's out, why not give her a good old clean down? Hurry and to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. Work of art that you're looking at is is essentially just our attempt to help keep the fridge a little bit more insulated. We had this semi taped to the window. It was difficult to attach, and now that the window is blacked out, we think that it might just be easier to just put it right here and help contain the temperature of the fridge a little bit better. So that's what we did there, and we're gonna slide them back in, and I think we're gonna call it a day. That's the only part of the fridge that is like exposed yes. to the window. So it looks silly, but maybe I'll do something, and why not use it if we have it? Exactly. We'll never see that, so... We'll never see it until the next time we take the fridge out. There you go. <laughs> and in here, we're all blocked out. No more outside views for the fridge. Supervisor is on the case. <laughs> Do you approve? That's a bad sign.
No cool way to do this, huh? She's in. I can take this one off. First tape off. Definitely needed that tape. Do you want to come and get a really close up of it? Yay! It looks so class because it looks just black. So while we're blacking windows out, we realized we didn't really do the back of the closet that well, or at all, so let's just bang that out too. What we used to have and have currently is just that piece of reflective that's just taped to the window. We don't have it in the top part, so in a parking lot, with if the light is going into the windows, you can definitely see the whole top part of the closet. So while we're at it, let's just get this fixed. That was a lot easier and a lot quicker than we thought. Had I known how quickly that was going to go, I would have been putting it off for an entire year. You mean three years? <laughs> Yes. So definitely don't make this mistake if you are building or thinking of converting. Cover your windows. I mean, that's, I don't even think we should tell them that. They probably know that. It's probably self-explanatory, but if you're watching this and you're confused on what to do with your windows, cover them. Spray paint will do it. Shuttle Boss windows are very easy, like, sorry, I meant to say very hard very hard to like remove and just patch unlike schoolies where you can take that out and just put a piece of metal because of the fiberglass so you do have to 
close them up and your first step is probably going to want to be spray paint so they don't they just look black from the outside looking in and then like we said you could do foam insulation and maybe even put a piece of wood in front of it if you really wanted to build a nice barrier and wall it would definitely help with temperature or the easy way is just spray painting it maybe adding some reflective like we did not sure how much that will do but psychologically does a lot even if it's placebo effect we are totally okay with that because we the encourage job is done. it we encourage the placebo effect hope you guys like this <laughs> sweet quick and hopefully <laughs> effective video so thanks for watching thanks for hanging thanks for supporting we love you all we appreciate you all next week we're cleaning our compost toilet and we're taking you along <laughs> with it so stay tuned so let's get towels let's get started